Hey guys, Redneck Computer Geek Sun here. Today we are going to show you how to hotwire um flathead brakes. There are a lot of reasons you may need to do this. Moving a tractor that has been sitting a really long time. Kids stole your ignition keys and failed safety switches. Hi, so at this point, I'm going to take over on the video. Hopefully you'll give Don a round of applause for helping me with the intro. And we're going to get to the basics that we need for doing this in order to hotwire one of these flathead brakes. So we're going to lay out some tools and go over everything. Start from there. Hi, so in order to do this, you're going to need a couple of basic items. Your first of which is that most likely this is on a machine that has a dead battery. You're going to need some source of a jumper pack, a booster, or another vehicle. So, you're going to need a booster of some sort. In this case, I'm using this 150 engine crank booster. Um, you also can use a portable battery pack, and you also can jump it right directly off of a vehicle using regular jumper cables. The other thing that you're going to need if you're doing this through the solenoid is you're going to need a bump starter. Now a bump starter basically is simply two clips on the end of a push button. And one thing that I usually do is I keep a nail in with one side and that's because I can then push it down in and ground it out to a connector without ever having to remove it and then clip my bump starter onto the nail. If you use a perforated nail, like what they used for flooring in the old days, they tend to work better because they click in. Johnny, leave it alone. The other thing you're going to need is just a regular alligator clip set. These are usually like three bucks at AutoZone. And you're going to need a basic understanding of how solenoids operate. Now there's basically two types of solenoids that you see when you're dealing with most of these. When you're dealing with these, you have single pole solenoid and you have double, or rather four pole, three pole. Now, when you're dealing with just a regular single pole, Johnny, can I see the bump starter? Excellent. When you're dealing with just a regular single pole, all you need is your bump starter and just clip it onto the pole. And then you can set, a, set off your solenoid. But if you're dealing with a four pole, that's when it gets more complicated. You're going to need to clip onto one side with your bump starter and then you're going to need your alligator clip. You're going to clip that onto the other pole, and then this you're going to clip onto your engine. That grounds it out directly, and you can set it off. I'm going to set all of this up and show you how to do the bump start and get it running. Hi, so at this point, everything is all wired up. I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to switch on our booster. Now first, you're going to have to find your kill wire, which comes out here on this flathead Briggs, and that goes to here. So we disconnect that. Now when you come around, we're going to jump this from the solenoid first and do it the right way, and then the next time we're going to do it the more ghetto way. So in here we have our solenoid. As you can see, it's got the two terminals. You can see on the right hand side, I've got the bump starter hooked up, and then underneath you'll see an alligator clip. That alligator clip comes out and is connected right here onto the engine. So the other side is the bump starter, and that comes back to the battery. So we have our charger here, we've got our bump starter, that comes back up through and connects to one side 
of the solenoid. So from here, if we set our choke, we should be good to go. Now, as you probably figured out just then, the only way to kill it is to reconnect this. You also can kill it by cramming a rag in the top of the carburetor and choking it out, but I really don't recommend that method. So now, we're gonna do the ghetto method of doing this. The ghetto method is even simpler. You disconnect this, you directly hook your ground onto right there, and then you hook your positive right there. I'm gonna set it up and we're gonna do it. All right, so now we've got our kill wire disconnected. We've got our ground up here. We've got our positive on this terminal on the starter. One thing to note, make sure that your positive is not touching the outer housing of your starter or else it'll weld itself to it. You can do this using jumper cables off of a car. You're just gonna end up sparking right across it. So you might have some char marks by the time you're done. The nice thing about a booster is I just hit a select button. That's the two fastest ways that I know of in order to hotwire and get a flathead Briggs up and running, single cylinder. And so I'll be producing more of these hotwire videos, hopefully in the future. Thanks guys, and no Grand Theft Autoing any lawn tractors. It's not why I taught you this. Can you put the key in the ignition?